decaf coming back at you for another vlog here. So today, this is my special for you. We're, uh, we're sitting on the North Saskatchewan River. Came in from Devon and uh, gonna be taking about a four-ish, five-hour trip uh, all the way back to Edmonton. So we're ready for some fun. I got uh, probably a food review coming for you. Decided to bring along one of my freeze-dried meals and uh, gonna taste that. I did, haven't eaten yet today, so that's gonna be my lunch. And uh, just gonna be enjoying the scenery, the trip. This is what there is so far. Should be a nice trip. Probably about two hours in. I'll pull off somewhere that's nice enough and cook myself up a meal. How's it going? Good so far? How far are you guys going? Okay. Uh, all the way back to Edmonton. About a four hour trip. Yeah, and first time being on the river. Thought I might as well make a day of it. Beautiful, so why not? People on the river are so nice. Alright. We'll talk to you later. Peace. So it looks like we're on an island. However, they've blocked off part of getting around the other side. the exit point for uh, rentals. Yeah, there's a park and camp area right here. So, I don't know, let's paddle over. Let's get closer to these old cabins. They look pretty cool. Yeah, and I lost my kayaking friends. This was their exit point. Wonder how much everyone, or how much you pay to spend a half hour kayaking on the river. Oh God, probably expensive for the time you spend on the river anyway. Part of me wants to pull off and grab one of my snacks right now, but still early on. I guess let's see where I am on the river, actually. Pull out the trusty dusty phone. Oh yeah, I still got a long way to go. That's okay. Oh, they came here in a boat. I did not, I have a kayak. That's okay. This adventure is gonna be more fun anyway. That's gonna be it for now. Maybe uh, depending on how long these next bends are, I might wait till I get to my rest area to bring you guys back. Or you'll be hearing from me sooner. But uh, until then, peace. So they didn't close off this side of the island. But I imagine it's too shallow for a boat to go through. Ah, that's probably why they closed it off in the first place. So, I believe I know where I am, and uh, I know where I'm going to be stopping to eat, uh, right around this bend coming up, right up there. There's a small island in the middle of the river, it's uh, right across from Rabbit Hill Snow Resort. I worked there for a season, was a snowmaker and a lift operator. That's it for now, we'll see you guys back on uh, when I get to the island. Peace.
is gonna be chicken alfredo pasta, premium freeze-dried from Peak Refuel. Never had Peak Refuel before, but I hear a lot of good things. The guy at uh, Campers Village where I bought it said that it was fantastic. So, the reviews I've seen make it look really good, so that's what I'm gonna have today. This should take no time at all to boil. Gotta get my pouch ready. Take this packet out, don't eat that. While that's boiling, this is what it looks like on the inside. They assume that's chicken chunks and the Alfredo stuff. So, actually it looks pretty good. Boiling water in no time at all. Stir. Get down in those crevices. sit for 10 minutes. While we wait, I am going to try my mutant protein brownie. Like I said, it looks pretty good. This is, this is it. Now, if it looks that good, this is going to be delicious. protein stuff it is a little dense but man is it good so I'll have a drink of water show you Rabbit Hill from across the river maybe go into a little story about that How long have we got left? About two minutes so I'll really quickly show you right across the river there is a place called Rabbit Hill Snow Resort. So one winter I applied there for snow making because we can't just rely on regular, you know, on, on the weather to make our snow for us. Got to make it ourselves. And uh, it's generally, if I recall correctly, two 12 hour shifts, a day shift and a night shift. And uh, every two weeks you swap out or it's every week. Uh, and it actually was pretty fun. Um, you get to drive snowmobiles all around the hill. Got to make sure you check the uh, the snow guns so that they're not icing up and freezing over. If they do that, they'll bend and snap. Had to deal with two of those. And if you don't catch it fast enough, water just pours out and it gets all over the base. It's called the sled, and it ices up and you can't move it. There, there's no getting it out. You spend almost probably an, an entire shift or two trying to break that ice to get it out of there. Man, that's a pain in the ass. But uh, there's a couple times uh, you make these nice big mounds of snow and then a snow cat comes in and plows it all over. But uh, before they do that, sometimes when it's, you've got a lot of downtime on warmer nights when it's not freezing as quickly and you don't have to worry about the guns, um, we go in and We go in and turn them into snow forts. And we had one that had this really cool cap on it 
that uh, reminds you of uh, Whoville Mountain. And so we called it exactly that, Whoville Mountain. And it was hollowed out entirely and uh, it was so cool. It was a good time. Um, after doing the snow making for about a month, I switched over to be a uh, lift operator. So you just operate the lifts, watch the kids, stuff like that. And that was a fairly fun time. Get free access to the hill whenever you want, while you're not working, obviously. Um, when you're going from the top of the hill to the bottom, you ski or snowboard your way down. You don't have to walk. So it was a really good time. I enjoyed that, but uh, I don't know that I'll do it again. <laughs> All right, that was the alarm for the food, so let's take a look at it. Oh, still a little soupy. I think I had a little too much water. Yeah, a little too much water in there, but that's okay. I don't mind soupy. Ooh, it's still really hot. Chicken looks like real chicken. Uh, now that I'm stirring it around a little bit, it's not as soupy, it's more saucy. Come over and show you. So, here, let's just do it this way. That on there. And that's it right in the bag there. I think it looks pretty good. Let's give this a try. Definitely gonna have to blow it off. Noodles are perfect. Oh. That seasoned chicken is fantastic. It's not like ground chicken that they turned into, you know, chicken cubes. It's real, it looks like real chicken. Oh, delicious. Super flavorful for a freeze-dried meal. Wow. Partially in there. Yeah, I had a little too much water, but that's okay. I'd rather have too much than not enough. But you know, I should have brought a beer. That's the one thing I didn't think about until after. Should have brought a beer. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this whole thing. That's so good. But, uh, that's gonna be it for now. I'm gonna finish my meal, hydrate a little, jam up some tunes, and, uh, I'll get back to you when we get back on the water. Peace. All right, we're back on our way. The crows up in the trees are having a heyday. guys so decaf coming back at you as it turns out when I stopped for lunch I was actually a lot further out than I thought I was um, if you can see that bridge up ahead that is the Terwilliger bridge which essentially means I'm back in the city however where I'll be porting to go home is all the way on the other side of the city. Unless they got caught in the act. How the fuck do people get up there? That does not look easy at all. There's no point in saying it doesn't look safe. I mean, duh, it's not safe. Okay, here we go, going under the bridge. Gonna paddle this one out. Oh, some shade. Wonderful. And now no more shade. Oh, 
And now a little bit more shaking. There we go, we've crossed the first bridge. And now back into the sun. All right, so I just ran into those floaters. They, uh, they got in the water, same place I did, back in Devon. But it's almost, almost five o'clock and they got in at 11. So it took them quite a while to get this far. We're going all the way to Horlac. Yeah, I think I got quite a while to go. And, uh, and I'm right about where they're going. They got even longer, holy. All right guys, decaf back. I'm uh, gonna be making an early, early stop. Uh, Capilano is still so far away. I'm gonna be out here for another hour and a half at least. And I said that about an hour and a half ago. Whew, I was not prepared for this long journey. My hands are getting sore. My neck and shoulders are getting sore. So, it's about time to get off the river. Clan Monroe crew, decap back. Just got on shore for the first time in about six hours ish. We'll say, yeah, about six hours. So, we're back, back on land. Uh, now I just gotta get my ride. Thanks for coming along with me. It's been quite a bit of a journey and uh, We'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.